everyone. Most of us know by now just how important it really is to wear sunscreen. But when you head to the drugstore, are you really getting what you pay for? New research found some products don't meet the SPF claims that they make on the bottles. So Consumer Reports tested 12 very popular sunscreens for their July issue. And consumer expert Royalyn Reed is here with some of those important results. Good to see you. Hi, Carrie. Glad to be here with you. I find this fascinating and frightening all at the same time. Sure. So they did these uh, tests, and we all throw that SPF phrase around, but what exactly does it mean? Well, first of all, SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor, Factor. and what that is is the number that you can stay out in the sun according to how long you normally burn a little bit longer. So say for an example, if a person can stay out 20 minutes in the sun before their skin burns, that if they use an SPF of 30, then they can stay out technically 10 hours. Okay. without burning. Okay, so you have to kind of think about it that way. Hopefully we don't go out with no sunscreen and test that theory though to know how soon we have to be out there before we burn. But Consumer Reports tested the very best products out there and what did they find? You know, the results were very interesting really? because um, a lot of the products you might be really surprised about. As a matter of fact, we, we brought and we've um, focused on the top five, the products that um, that rated the highest. And so before we get to the results, what kind of things were they looking for? There were two main, two main factors they were focused on. One was looking at UVA and UVB rays. Okay. Those are very um, important because those are the things that could potentially contribute to skin cancer. Right. Also UVB, of course, is, um, has to do with the sun burning. UVA has to do with those wrinkles that we all want to be careful about. So did they actually <clears throat> put these products on people and send them out in the sun to see how they held up and if they, they lived had, up to their promise? They actually had a, um, a simulated test where, okay. they, um, where they had to really control it for testing, okay. but they used people's backs and they actually have ways to measure it. But the results were, is what they found were the sunscreens that protected the best against the UVA and UVB rays. And another thing that came out is those that didn't stain the clothes. Oh, very interesting. Let's get right to the results. Let's talk Perfect. about this first one here. What did they like about this one? Well, first of all, the main thing with all of them, we talked about how they rated, but even to just find out what the, what the top ones are, what, fi what finished first was Target's Up and Up protection SPF 50. Oh, this finished first. Absolutely. What and about that's it what did surprising. they like the most? And really too, this was a technical test, so they pretty much focus on the protection part. Okay. How safe are you and your clothes? So those are the two factors that these five really um, focused on for this particular test. All right, number two. Number two is Walmart Equate Ultra Protection. SPF 50. SPF 50. Same kind of thing they liked. Exactly, and now like I said, this was more or less on the first thing is what provides you the best protection for safety? And, what, and then when you get into your personal preferences, that could vary Okay, something. number three, it looks like it's Copper Tone Water. Copper Tone Water Babies. Water Babies, okay. I've heard of Water Babies. That's great for kids. Absolutely, and we know now it's very safe for them too, especially um, with what the test showed against the UVA and UVB rays. All right, coming in at number four, what do we have? Number four, we have Walgreens Continuous Spray Sports. Right, SPF 50 again. SPF Are we aiming 50. for a particular number here? I mean, is there one number we should go for over another? The number we really should all look for is at least on average um, higher than SPF, SPF 30 or higher. You can't okay. do SPF 15, but SPF 30 is the best, or at least the minimum we should The be minimum for. you would want to okay. use. Okay, and rounding out the top five? The last one is Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch SPF 30. And that's 30, okay. And a, well, what put one ahead of the other, do you think? Just It is, had to do with, like I said, this test was specifically on the performance against UVB, UVA and UVB rays. And that's what's important because the, when you get to other things, it's the personal preference. Let's so talk first, about let's price talk point about really that. fast. Were you surprised? I mean, going in, do we typically think, wow, this one's a little bit more money, so I bet it's going to protect me better? Absolutely. I think this really uh, was a surprise to a lot of people to look at it with the performance because now we see that that doesn't really apply. As a matter of fact, this, um, this brings me back to my old years. I was a scientist at Mary Kay in consumer testing. Oh, wow. And these kinds of things with the price point and the performance of the product usually don't always go hand in hand. Well, look at that. So many of us shop at Target. We shop at Walmart. Absolutely. And it's their own brand that came in first and second. Absolutely. And also, too, what the research shows is when you look at even the um, the Walmart brand uh -huh. and when you look at how much um, product you have per per penny or whatever, right. this one was the best buy. The Walmart one. The Walmart. How about Equate. that? Now, when we're looking for a sunscreen for ourselves, 
what do we look for? I mean, what if we have sensitive skin? What if we burn easily? Do we know right away we have to go with a higher SPF? But what do we do? After you get the basics down, you know, we talked about the protection against the sun. A lot of times it's up to personal preference because we know they have lotions and sprays. You can go whatever you prefer. Now, what we do know is that the, uh, with the sprays, they work better for if there's a lot of hair, like That's for men with their know. chest, or if, even if you have a bald head, balling head, mm -hmm. you still need to put um, sunscreen exactly. on your head or a hat. Well, thank you so much. So surprising and good to know and a great price point. Thank you very much. Glad we to be appreciate here. it. Amy, we're going to toss things inside to you.